What's going on guys, T Mart here and today I am very excited to start up a new series over here on T Martin 2. This my friends is Far Cry Primal. So this is a game I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. We love Far Cry on this channel and uh, in this installment we are going to be going back to the Stone Age, which is what I think is like just a, a really cool idea, it's going to be a really cool setting. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. So hope you guys are just excited about this as I am. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys are excited for this series. And actually, you know what? Thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'll pick one random person. I'll send you a copy of this game on the console or platform of your choice. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. I hope you guys are excited. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we go. Game difficulty, normal, English. Don't want to invert search animations. Sure. Boom. Here we go, boys. Did that just say invert flying pitch? What are we going to be flying on? Pterodactyls? It's not quite that far back in the past. All right, here we go. Explore O's, discover pedestals where you can offer totems and thank the spirits for your continued survival. The Azila are newcomers to the land of Oros. They survived with fire in their eyes and scorched land at their backs. You can light a campfire or claim a bonfire by burning or by using any burning weapon. Go, 2016. Oh gosh. Rewind it. Holy cow, dude. Holy cow. This is pretty cool. 10,000 BCE, Central Europe. Dude, this is gonna be so sick. Ubisoft presents. Oh my god. So, are we in the Winja? We're fighting two other tribes of people, kinds of enemies, as well as trying to survive out here. Woolly mammoths? No way. There's a bunch of them. This is crazy, dude. What?
New weapon resource film in your stash after completing the mission in search of Winja. Right, we're gonna get down, we're gonna sneak in. Dude, these things would mess you up. New sting bomb weapon. Alright, so we need a small one. Is this considered a small one right here? Hi. Can't be. He looks pretty big. Sanhatra Halu Shashwalim Shadamas. Mamma Fuan Mas Hahadamas Shuta Narima. That little guy over here. I want the muff. Shamsha Dagar, no Mashwantan, Gula Shitaugash. Alright, let's get him. You want me to. Oh gosh. We were caught on fire. Now we want to heal. Oh, just. It's just a bit of beef jerky, no big deal. How do I hit this guy? What do I do? I'm gonna stick him in his butt! I'll stick him in his butt! Yes! Oh god! Oh, he turned around! No! Whew. Heal again. So we want to charge up and get a hit and then... Do we have any other weapons? Do we have like a bow and arrow or something? Because a lot of them are shooting him with bows. Right in the rear end. Oh gosh. Just. Did we get him? Taken down by rear end penetration. Let's go, boy. <laughs> That's how you do it. That is. That's a small one, too. That's one big mother trucker, dude. I feel kind of bad. Oh shit! Oh, you're dead. A saber too? Get it, get it. Oh! Oh my god! Holy cow! So in the first five minutes of this game, we hunted a woolly mammoth and got in a fight with a saber-toothed tiger. Alright, this is gonna be cool, boys. Welcome to the series. My Shanchita Dakar. Holy cow, dude. He had his ribs sticking out. Alright. We need to find a weapon. Pat the Oros. We need a bow. Okay, gather resources to craft a bow. We need... Reeds, alderwood, and slate.
Where are we gonna find slate? That's like stone, right? How are we gonna get that though? I'm just gonna get as much alder wood. Oh, you can't. Oh, here we go. Take slate. Nice. You can hold R three to activate your hunting vision to highlight resources around you. Me one thought of fuck we are. Salcamaga. Here's our reeds. All right, we should have enough for a bow now. Press the middle button to open the menu. Bow upgrades here to two. Sounds good. Go ahead and craft that. Solid. Now we just need arrows. Oh, we have arrows. Should we take some more resources? Kind of want to take as many resources as possible. All right, here we go. Uh, to hunt effectively, approach your prey slowly and press circle to crouch. Hold R3 to use your hunter vision to highlight nearby animals and blood trails. Don't get too close. Some animals will flee if they detect you. Sounds good. Hunt and skin for food. We're looking for goats. I'm just going to take some more of these resources for now. While they're readily available. Okay. We're looking for goats, boys. This is so cool. I like being back in time. What's that? Oh, it's Slate over here. I'll take it. I'm not gonna get too much stuff, but I just I like getting like a solid inventory right off the bat. Oh, we just got flint. Flint is gonna be helpful for starting fires for sure. Got him! Boom! Headshot! Alright, let's go ahead and skin him. Can we get our arrow back? Probably not. Oh, we can. And now we can heal. By eating animal fat. Alright, so that's one out of three. This is pretty intense, dude. Oh, I see some stuff up there. Got a couple of animals up here. Where'd they go? Got him with the headshot. Nice. Got some meat and a goat skin there. Dude, I don't like how we can't really see much. Like, this is way too overgrown for me. Got that long range shot, baby. That's right, three out of three. Night comes, must find shelter. Find shelter and light a campfire. All right, looks like we've got a uh, an objective marker. Am I hearing shit? For sure, hearing stuff. Gonna go for it. Alderwood, I feel like that's something that should be in like Game of Thrones or something.
Pack is full of Alderwood at this point. All right, what do we do with this? Oh, we're supposed to light a campfire here. Got 16 hardwood to do it. Sounds good. Blow on it, fill it with oxygen, give it life. You know how hard that is to start a fire like that? Like, sometimes it's hard to start a fire with matches nowadays. Like, how did they do it back in the day? That's so impressive. Isso. Did you guys see on the rock next to us? Oh. Don't want to get caught on fire. The saber tooth, dude. Alright, you can now craft the club. Press the menu button to open that menu. Looks like we can craft the club here. It takes three alderwood. You can also use it as a weapon. <laughs> all right. Gonna be able to beat off all the ladies who think my caveman bot is so sexy. All right, ignite your club to make a torch. Here we go. For all the Ouija tracks. That's awesome, dude. 